wait, wait a second, let me put this Are one. you ready? I'm ready. Oh, yeah. Let's dress the flag. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> okay, now just biking to the event. So what they do is they shut down the town, so you can only get there by bus, but it's just like a 15 minute cycle, so it's nice and easy. So I've got a can for the journey. I need to put this on the dress somewhere or I've got a clever place to put this. But while I'm off the bike, I want to just tell you about three companies that are really helping me have the best day ever. So let's just put this on the bike and tell you about it. So these are not paying me, but they have provided me with equipment, which is so useful for what I do. Cause I do this without a salary or anything like that. This is not my day job. So it really helps support what I do. So the three brands specific today are, first of all, the bike. So 1007, fantastic company, hand-built bikes that are just awesome. And, he, and the, the owners are really kind in letting me sort of use one of these just when I need it on days like this. So fantastic. It's just so easy to transport it to the event. So thank you, 1007. There's a whole brilliant story about why that name came. So just check it out. And the next brand is actually revolutionary. It's revolutionary. So this is a new sponsor or a new uh, company that's just uh, gifted me some items. This gear, the rucksack. Um, so I've got these waterproof outfits and underneath it, I've got a base layer. So this is just a base layer. That's all I've got on. But what is perfect is I always struggled with Ekmond in, often you'd be cycling here in the rain and you need a new outfit to take back. But now I've got waterproofs and a base layer. I've got the perfect gear. So it means I've got less to take to the event. And I think it's just such fantastic quality. So thank you, Revolution Race. And then the last sponsor is of course, Brooks. They've been, they've been supporting me for the last four years and I'm so grateful to them. So today I'll be running in Brooks. My running gear underneath the dress is gonna be Brooks, of course, and I've got Brooks Ghost Max on today. So those are gonna be running, running shoes. Thank you so much to those three companies that have made this possible. Let's get to the event now. No more talking, time to do it. Yay! <laughs> Okay, I'm in the changing room. I've got to be a bit careful just in case someone's changing next to me. But I've got that there and I've just asked the people on the door if they would help me get changed, so they will, so it's all sorted. Now I've just got to get unpacked, get changed, get ready. <laughs> Picking up, yes! It's gonna be really tough to carry this flag. So I've gotta use both hands. It's uh, almost impossible with one hand. But I've got a secret plan if it gets too much. My biggest concern is if I lose any cans or if the top of this actually fails. If it fails, then it could start unraveling and I have to carry it. But let's see.
Merci, hein. te worden. We zitten volgens mij nu op 12 kilometer en pop veel veel wondjes en die vlag wordt zwaar. Tough. I'm covered in cuts and grazes, but so many people were asking what I was doing, and it raised loads of awareness. So I'm just really, thank you, help. I'm just really thrilled that uh, I managed to do this. The organisation was so supportive. It really is the best race in the world. So if you're ever in the Netherlands in January, you've got to do F1. It's amazing. I am freezing now. But that's part of the experience. The tougher the better. 